The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I'll also be doing, uh, oh, this is Mr. Uh, Billy Ray Valentine from the offices of Duke and Duke, out of the Hong Kong office of Duke and Duke. And I'll be doing a Tom O'Brien show this afternoon at 4 o'clock. Folks, uh, we got trouble in River City. There is a market that looks like it might be heading to free fall. Let's just put up this treasury bond chart. Uh, what I'm going to do, I started out by showing the German Bund. That's the equivalent to the 30-year uh, bond, and you'll see that the big ABCD uh, price pattern that it made a few weeks ago, and you'll notice that it has really uh, come down very hard since that time. But the green line that you see on this chart is the one that's the trouble. That's the 30-year U.S. bond. Folks, this, this market, uh, I know they're, they're going to raise rates. That's nearly a foregone conclusion. But the problem is, is that the rates have been going up uh, quite a bit already. The, F the Fed is behind the curve, just like they almost always are. So uh, this looks like we're getting now. This could be uh, a possible bottom, but I don't believe that it is. And the reason for that is that we made a bottom back in December at a perfect 61% retracement in the Treasury bonds. It was just about, well, it was spot on. It was just, you know, exactly, you know, the way that it should be. And from that level, let's just bring you this up so you can take a look at it. Give me one second here. There, we, we're able to see it pretty easily here. Uh, if you'll notice back here, uh, it was about three months ago uh, in December, we made a perfect 61% retracement from the low of 2014 and going back several years. And since that time, we're talking three months of virtually no rally. All it's been able to do is make a 382 rally off of the high that we made uh, the night of the election back on November the 8th. We did make a 382 retracement of that. But for three months, it's taken such a long time to virtually you know, head down. We've had lower tops and, you know, we're starting to see lower bottoms now. Uh, any move below 146, we're trading at just under 149 right now, 148 and change. Anything below 146 is going to set up a potential uh, free fall. We'll take it down a minimum of the 786 level on the long-term chart, and that would be down in the area of the uh, 142 level. So, well, there's a chance here that we could see a really spike in interest rates. Will that affect the stock market? I don't think anything's going to affect the stock market, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, that's the question here about, uh, uh, you know, life here in Hong Kong. Uh, this is fun part for me. Today, I have a real, one of my really good buddies from uh, Tucson came over. He came over last year, and he liked it so much he came over. Uh, again uh, this year and so we had a chance to hang out today and tomorrow and today we went up to Victoria Peak which is the uh, most expensive place in all of Hong Kong it's where it's at the top of the mountain this fabulous condominiums up there and homes that are just unbelievable last year a home 3,000 square foot home with a tennis court and a swimming pool uh, sold for 66 million US dollars Folks, that's $30,000 a square foot. In Tucson, you can get a really nice house for $120 a square foot. So the prices here for real estate are wacko. But for traveling around the city, it is really cheap. Uh, to take the, um, the shuttle bus, which is basically a sightseeing bus, up to the top of the mountain only costs a dollar and a quarter. And, uh, you know, it's a double-decker bus, you know, really nice. And they had a lot of tourists, and we were able to visit with them and stuff. And as we were going up the hill, uh, up on Victoria Peak, uh, we, we started to see so many Teslas. On the way up, we counted 51 Teslas uh, in this little 20-minute drive. 
And I, I couldn't believe it. And then, you know, because when you buy a car here in Hong Kong, you have to pay a 100% tax. So if you buy a $100,000 Mercedes, it costs you $200,000. However, however, Mr. Musk, this little clever little devil that he is, when he brought out the Teslas being an electric car, he had the Chinese or the Hong Kong government uh, suspend that tax so that they would use less gas and improve the environment. So there were no taxes on the Tesla, or very, very minimal taxes on the Tesla. Now, guess what, boys and girls? New administration, now the tax is back, and now those Teslas, you know, that didn't have to pay the tax are worth a whole lot more money. So it's it's really amazing how things are the same there as they are there. The, the, if you get a chance, folks, just go to Google Victoria Peak Hong Kong, and you'll be able to see these beautiful views that are there. It's just uh, it's just really spectacular. And uh, they got some scenic decks there that you can uh, see. And the hawks are uh, flying all over the forest there. You know, looking for uh, you know looking for food. It's really uh, it's really quite a beautiful place. It's a wonderful place to visit because it really doesn't cost very much as long as you don't live here. That you know transportation is really nothing. You can go you know 15 miles. Uh, in a taxi, and it's only going to run you about five bucks. You go 15 miles in London, you're going to have to buy the taxi. So uh, it's uh, you know a really big difference. And you know the food is is very very good. It's a cosmopolitan city. It's everything's available here. So it's it's fun. It's a nice place to visit. Really nice people. Uh, we've been very fortunate over the many years that I've been coming here. I started coming here with the uh, Drexel in uh, 1977. Um, it was really a you know, a fun place to go, and uh, we had uh, one of our big guys was here in Hong Kong who ran the office, who's uh, who's very very famous, and his his name escapes me, but I went past his house uh, this morning and I I remembered him, and oh darn it, I just can't remember it now, but it'll come to me in just a second. His name is Doctor. What do they call him, Doctor Dread or something like that? What is his name? Oh gosh. Uh, he's from Switzerland. Anyway, the main thing is is that we had a um, really, really fun time today. And when we have the seminars here, we have so many students here in the Hong Kong area. They all come back and uh, you know for refresher courses. And then we do live trading during the week. That's part of the, the uh, incentive that we have, and we have to be profitable. And we've had a couple of nice days. Well, shorter term trades, but you know they they're working uh, you know pretty well using the smaller patterns and stuff. But that's the fun part of what we're doing. But uh, Hong Kong is uh, you know still Chinese territory. It was turned over by the Brits in 1997, and uh, it is still basically it's run independently. But China still you know basically is always looking over the shoulder of uh, what's going on, you know, of uh, what's happening. So anyway, enough of the commercials for Hong Kong. Uh, but if you get a chance, you should come over here. You know, the flight's not bad, and you can get a really nice hotel room about uh, one-third the price in New York. And uh, it's it's a fun place. Okay, let's get on to the markets. Let's talk about this bond market, folks. Uh, th this market, I know we're, well, I don't know, but I assume that the way the market's acting, they're getting ready to raise interest rates. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS 
has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, folks, we're back and we're going to continue talking about the bond market. We're going to look at it through the eyes of the high yield bond market, i.e., junk bonds. As you can see from the CTF that we have focused here, which is the larger one, uh, HYG, it is a, a very, very interesting chart because there's a tremendous spread between the high yield bonds, of course, and the U.S. Treasuries. Uh, this is very unusual. Now, the reason for this is that you have a, people are looking for higher yield because they're used to many, many years where they were getting anywhere from 48% in the 30-year bonds. And since the quantitative easing came in uh, several years ago, you know, those yields have dropped down, you know, considerably. The other thing that you should uh, keep in mind uh, that, you know, these um, high-yield bonds are also junk bonds. Uh, you know, they don't carry the rating that you get, you know, with the 30-year bond. The 30-year bond has, you know, the highest rating of anything that you can get. And there, what I don't understand is why the U.S. dollar, where it's trading right now, why is it, you know, that people will put their money in another country getting a lot less rate when they can move their money over here into 30-year treasury bonds? And uh, I don't understand, you know, the mechanism behind that, but that's what it sounds like. I mean, you look at, you know, Spain and Italy, you know, their bonds uh, and even some of the South American bonds with, you know, not nearly the rating that we have on a 30-year bond are yielding a whole lot less. So there's a, a huge bubble in the bond market. And I've said many times here that I think that's where the, uh, that's where the problem uh, will, will arise. Uh, folks, we have another really nice Gartley pattern forming here this morning uh, in the crude oil right, right up here near the $54 uh, barrel level. It's, uh, it's set up just about as nicely as you could possibly uh, ask for. It actually comes in at around 53.80, uh, I believe. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at that here for those of you that trade the crude oil market. 
It might even be, uh, you know, looking, um, uh, it could easily break this, of course, to the upside and, you know, go a lot higher, but that is an ABCD pattern over the past, you know, five trading days. It's an hourly chart, so it has some really good uh, patterns in it. As you can see, the 135 pattern that is there uh, that formed back on uh, February 23rd, 26th, and March 1st was absolutely spot on. Uh, as, we're, as we're on the air today, we're looking at the price of gold. Uh, we've just broken uh, the uh, 1220 level in gold. And as we mentioned uh, yesterday, you know, on the program that we believe that we're heading down at the minimum of the 1208 level and possibly, let's just put this up here and we'll take a quick look at this uh, right now. Thanks, Duffy. Uh, Duffy just told us that the high yielding bonds are yielding 5.17%, and I believe the 30-year is about uh, 3.2. So uh, that's pretty good, uh, pretty good information. <laughs> Someone's also telling us that Bitcoin could hit $3,000. Well, uh, well I, I, I'll keep my mouth uh, uh, in in order on that one. Let's just take a quick look here at the gold market because uh, we just hit this uh, 20 level. We, we're, we're about $10 away from a pretty nice uh, ABCD pattern, as you'll be able to see here. It's actually uh, a butterfly pattern come from the low on the 15th that led to that expansion high up there at the 1265 level. Frankly, folks, I think that we're going to be in a uh, sideways to down market in the gold uh, until we reach the uh, equinox on the 22nd. Uh, that'll be the spring equinox, so we'll, you know that would, it also comes within a day or two of the full moon, I believe, and we'll see if uh, there's a good turning point. But right now, uh, we're, remember our ultimate target on this down move in the in the gold should be down two harmonic numbers uh, from the high. 35 is the harmonic number. Multiply that times two, that comes up to 70. You take 70 away from 1265. That takes you just below 1200 at 1995, and just a little bit beyond that is another harmonic number lower. So that would be $105 off the top, would take us in to 12, excuse me, 1160, which is the 61% retracement uh, of the whole move from last December. So we'll watch this uh, closely. We'll be able to see that uh, very good. Uh, Alrighty, we'll push this uh, threat. We have one done and three. Okay, Gator, I think it's already in there, but thank you very much for posting it. I appreciate it. Um, we've had one request to talk about this island reversal pattern uh, that we had in Tesla. Uh, this was about a, a little more than 10 days ago. Let's just put this up uh, so we can look at it. And because we have a potential for that in the stock index futures sometime in this uh, decade, but uh, because we're in the seventh year of the decade, I don't know if it's going to take uh, this year or the remaining three years. But if you look at Tesla here, you had a market that did form a perfect island reversal uh, that you know leaves itself uh, wide open. Uh, now we've had a pretty good move down. We dropped from uh, 268, uh, you know, all the way down to 242. So it dropped 25 dollars, had a little tiny a bit of a bounce. And since that time, you know, basically uh, done nothing as the rest of the stock market, uh, you know, went a little bit higher. So this is definitely an island reversal pattern. And you don't see those very often, but when they when you do, you should sort of pay attention to it. Because this was one of the patterns that Dr. Andrew Lowe talked about uh, in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. And he looked at 800,000 different patterns from uh, 1962 through 1998. You know, he looked at head and shoulders and uh, pennants and flags, uh, double tops, double bottoms, and, uh, you know, some of the others. He, they, of course, they didn't do, you know, Gartley's or things like that, but they did do three drive to a top and three drive to a bottom. They called them, of course, you know, triple tops and triple bottoms. And uh, that's the, those are all very, very powerful patterns because you can, you know, put the pattern and, and then you can also see the ratios. And what's really, uh, really amazing to me, even after looking all these years, you can really see the beautiful symmetry in some of these patterns. And those are the ones that are the easiest to see is the ones where you have the really nice symmetry forming 
and you're able to see it, much like we're seeing now <clears throat> on the long-term charts in the, the New York Stock Exchange Index, the NASDAQ, and also the S&P 500 that we've posted here, you know, many times uh, uh, before. So keep an eye on that crude oil. Uh, it's, uh, you know, right at the level that uh, should be giving. It's around 5,400, I believe, uh, is the other area where it should have some uh, resistance at that point. So you want to, uh, you know, watch that, uh, you know, rather closely. Um, that someone's asked a question about, you know, how do I do these trades when I'm, you know, working in a group like this? Well, you know, fortunately with the email like it is, you can send out trades, you know, much before, you know, they're ready to happen. And what, I, what, I'm, uh, what I'll do is I'll share one of the ones that this is short-term trades, folks. These are not things that are going to last for, you know, days or anything like that because we're dealing here with a market that we're watching an hourly chart. And if we take a look at the British pound here, I don't have all the patterns marked in because I, I make the attendees, you know, find them themselves. We'll cover this in just a second. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're back, and we were discussing, you know, when I give the seminar over here to the folks, we do live trading. Well, we do the seminar during the day, which is off hours, of course, to the U.S., and we try to trade foreign exchange because you can have a 24-7, uh, five and a half days a week. So, uh, well, it's not 24-7, it's 24, five and a half. But you're able to look at this particular chart happened to be an hourly chart on the British pound. There's a, th a one three five pattern present, which means the trend is sharply down. And what we're watching is, you know, the retracement levels and what the expansion levels will be if the market breaks to the downside. This happened to be one that set up absolutely perfectly, and it did uh, work very nicely. There's others, of course, that don't work. But over a period of time, you know, we'll have about 10 trades in about three days, and we'll be right on about six, of ten, uh, six out of 10 break even on a couple. So those are the ones that we're you know, really watching are the ones on the 30-minute and 15-minute chart to, to give a nice pattern for, you know, holding it for anywhere from a few hours for as long as several days. Now, that's uh, how we do it. Now, whether that's going to mean much or not, you know, I'm not 100% uh, sure, but I know everybody had a lot of fun. and We've had two really good days of trading and only one more day to go, which is good. And that'll be a, a fun thing to watch uh, happen. Now, I've also been asked to uh, take a look at a chart that I posted here uh, on Monday. And uh, this is a chart of the S&P 500 going back to 2007. You'll notice that uh, the high was made on October the 7th. Uh, we had a new moon uh, at that day, and that led to the, the beginning of the too-big-to-fail uh, scenario where the market broke and gave back better than 80% of the you know the Nasdaq move, and well over 50%, uh, actually well over 60% in the S&P uh, 500 move on the long on the longer term, you know weekly chart. So, uh, you know wherever this top is with all these gaps, you know we could see, you know something you know very very significant. And the reason why I posted this was the question that the person asked is to show you know, the ABCD pattern that's there. And this is a weekly chart. And if you'll see the low that we made back in August, we had a five-week rally. We came down and we bottomed uh, around the uh, first week in September. I remember that was a new moon. And what did we do? We rallied five weeks to complete an ABCD pattern. Uh, it's just absolutely spot on uh, in the S&P. And, of course, then we backed off uh, all the way down to 66 uh, in the uh, S&P, and uh, then from there it had a you know rally. Now where we're trading at you know 230 and change. So those are the uh, those are the things that we're watching, you know, in some of the markets uh, right now. Okay, there was one other chart that uh, that is very interesting in the foreign exchange, uh, and that is the British pound. You know, there has a lot of news now about uh, the possibility that they're not going to e exit the uh, Eurozone, you know, with Brexit. But frankly, uh, I, from what I hear from our friends in the UK, it's a pretty much a foregone conclusion that they're going to honor the vote. Uh, hmm, that's a strange thing to be doing when people vote. People are going to honor it? Wow, when did they figure this one out? Um, but you'll notice that the British pound is very, very close to the 78% uh, retracement, you know, making this a Gartley pattern down at the uh, 121.40 uh, level. Uh, you'll notice that the 61% retracement held it for about six or seven days, and then it, can be, it uh, continued to go lower. And that's one of the advantage, folks, of dealing with uh, pattern recognition. It's a leading indicator, and if it's not working right away, most probably something's wrong. So if you're in a trade, you know, four or five hours and nothing's happening, my suggestion is to go and find another horse uh, with a little bit tighter saddle so that you can get something that you can ride either up or down. You want really good, you know, swings up and down, and that's, the, that's what you'd like to see. But if the market's dead and the horse is doing very little, like nothing, uh, that probably means that the horse is not feeling very well, and they get, they get colds just like everybody else. So, uh, you know, pay attention because, uh, you know, you want to stay away from markets that are flat. You want to go to markets where the action is, and uh, that's how you protect yourself uh, by using, you know, your your uh, 
what do they call it? I can't even remember what they call it. Wow. This is a senior moment. We'll, we'll remember it a little bit up and here in a little bit, but uh, I hope I will. <laughs> we'll have to to wait and see if this is going to be uh, this is going to be the case. Okay, now the next question that someone asked me about, of course, was the uh, Japanese yen. I want to bring this up here and show you what's happened because uh, it's had some very important things here uh, on Sunday and then also Monday. Uh, and that is that we had a, a really nice 382 retracement here uh, in the Japanese yen. That's coming off of the low back on September the 27th. And uh, then, you know, we stopped spot on at the 382 twice, you know, once in uh, early January and the other one in, in late February. So all of these things tell us that there's most probably a really good chance for the yen to hold its uh, power and, uh, you know, remain to be uh, the most, uh, you know, they are some of the most influential students are the ones uh, that have blind instructors. And there's quite a few blind instructors at the University of Indiana. And uh, these are the ones that, uh, you know, do a great job of lecturing and stuff, but uh, they don't play soccer. You know, that's the bad part is when you have a handicap like that, you know, you're really under the gun. And I, I respect the things that they can do because that is really tough. If you think how bad it is, close your eyes sometime and you'll see that uh, you're looking at a really bad handicap, you know, not being able to see. Of course, now with the uh, single driving cars without, uh, you know, the private cars, that's going to make a real interesting you know, one uh, quite a bit. So we'll see. Folks, keep an eye on this euro, too, down around this 105.50 level. Uh, that's a 61% retracement off the low that we made last Friday. Uh, that should be a good number because we popped out of there really quick, you know, at the tune of about 120 pips, and now we're pulling back, you know, to a 61% retracement uh, in that 105 and change level, and that should be a very interesting one. Uh, the... the um, um, the Kiwi dollar, excuse me, the Australian dollar is trading right behind the uh, uh, dollar index today. So it's making some interesting patterns also. So the Fed's probably going to do something, if not today, uh, possibly either Thursday or Friday. But within a, within a four or five trading days, I believe you're going to see, you know, the, uh, you know, the bananas leave the stores because, uh, I, you know, that's a very popular fruit among uh, traders because they can you know stuff it in their pocket and eat it anytime they like so uh, that's why they're very popular here in hong kong they cost the same as they do in tucson arizona folks so bananas are universally priced okay enough of information where are we going to go today with the stock market folks we do have all these gaps in the dow jones industrial average i'll bring it up to let you see it uh, we need to get down at least a hundred points uh, in the Dow, we're not seeing any type of an island reversal pattern at all, but uh, we'll cover some of these other charts as we come back from our break. If you're looking to unearth a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Core Commodity CD from EverBank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to four equally weighted commodities gold, copper, WTI oil, and sugar in one powerful CD. With no pricing caps, you can potentially earn an unlimited upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across semi annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance, there's no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. With certain commodities on the rebound, now is the time to take advantage. The March 23rd funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once more, that's 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. 
TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a caller from Pennsylvania. Bruce, are you there? Hey, Larry. Uh, a question. A question for you. Um, yes, sir. I, I don't. I don't trade coffee, and I probably never will trade coffee. Ah, oh, you're a um, very smart man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I happen to have a cousin who has a small coffee uh, plantation or farm, and I thought I would mm -hmm. try to impress her with uh, my knowledge of <laughs> the coffee market and letting her know mm -hmm. what you know what I see in the charts. So I didn't know if you had any. Uh, you saw, you, you see anything in the like intermediate or long term uh, charts for coffee? Uh, boy, that's going to be a tough one. I really don't. Uh, I don't even chart it. Uh, in fact, I don't even. I, I'd have to pull up the data for it, which would take me a couple of minutes, and I'm not able to do that right now. But I know it's in a very steep downtrend, and uh, I don't know, uh, you know, anything about the supply demand. Uh, I do, uh, you know, in, in coffee, they put in sugar and cream, so I do look at sugar quite a bit, and I posted that in the room today, and we're at a major uh, support point in sugar at this 19 cents a pound level. So, but as far as coffee, I really can't give you insight. I, you know, you might want to call in to David White's uh, or Andy Heck's show because both of those guys, uh, you know, follow a broader group of commodities. I basically look at the grains and oil seeds, you know, crude oil, and then also along with heating oil, gold and the treasury bonds and the uh, silver occasionally. But those are the ones that I that I really watch. I don't do the New York uh, commodities uh, very much. They're, they are tradable. Uh, they have pretty good liquidity and they are electronic. So there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that, you know, I, I just have so many other things uh, that I can trade that I just don't look at it. So I don't have any opinion now. I wish I did, but in fact, I don't. Okay, no problem. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, they're telling me now, uh, at e luckily here these guys at TFNN are pretty smart, that J.O. is the ETF for coffee. Is that correct? It's uh, it's in a downtrend, that's for sure. I, I really think it doesn't look like it has any uh, any patterns completing here. So my guess is that it's still got some more to go to the downside. Okay, it looks like uh, he uh, ha hung up on us, but thanks for calling in, Bruce. So we'll take a look at it. Uh, the reason why I don't trade coffee, cocoa, or orange juice is when I was a little shaver, four years old, and my... Grandma was teaching me the ins and outs of commodity trading. She always used to tell me, if you ever have the urge 
to trade coffee, cocoa, or orange juice, go lay down on the couch until the urge goes away. And I've always done that. So we'll take a look at that. We've had a request here from one of our good folks. Everybody's a good folks, but this one's a special uh, friend out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Danny, just give me a second, and I can pull up the uh, – we're testing the lows of the other day in the S&P, uh, but there's no gap down in the Dow Jones, so there's not an island yet. The What would have to happen to, for an island today in the Dow Jones for it to be closed down about 80 points – and then gap down tomorrow, then it would leave an island. But the way it's setting up right now, it looks like it wants to fill in that one island, and then we'll go from there. And, you know, maybe all of these will be filled one after a trouble. All I know that they will be filled. The question is, is whether that's going to be done uh, in my lifetime. And platinum is under the same thing. Now, you'll see here, just one second, and I believe I can, I can get this up without too much trouble, I hope anyway. You'll be able to see the platinum uh, had a 50% uh, correction from the high we made in August. Uh, you remember that the uh, Dow Jones, the Dow Jones, the gold made a 61% retracement, and silver made a 50% retracement. So this is basically following along with what uh, is happening in gold. And gold is trading, you know, substantially below uh, 1220 now. We're trading around 1217. And remember. Uh, the ABCD structure on this comes in at 1209, so we're only eight dollars away uh, from this number. So you know, sort of uh, respect it because it's going to be an interesting one. We're having a pretty good sell-off in soybeans, and if we get below that 1028 level, uh, that is going to you know break out the low uh, that we made uh, back when the market was making the uh, solar eclipse and new moon back on the 27th. So it's a more than a week out. And, uh, you know, now it's, it's reversing all of the gains that it's made in the grains. And that, that's, a, that's a very uh, uh, bearish sign if we go below the lows that were made on that uh, solar eclipse and new moon on the 27th of, of uh, March. Uh, that was, excuse me, 27th of February. So we're, as, we, as the old Chinese curse says, may you live in interesting times. All right, we're trading around 230, uh, 23.67 and, uh, and a half in the, uh, the S&P. The key uh, spots to look at as we had, uh, we've taken that high out. Uh, well, no, we're right at the same high, 23.67 that we made uh, yesterday. And so it looks like we're getting to take that out. And if it does... Uh, if it does connect and you know start to head lower, remember that the big ABCD structure in this S&P going over the past uh, five trading days brings you in at the uh, 2360, uh, excuse me, 2347 to 2345 level, down another 20 handles from where we are right now. Uh, but that would be something that uh, if you do want. Uh, you know, some extracurricular activity to increase your trading, taking these things home like these uh, patterns that we have and studying them at length. It would be a big benefit to you. Um, I was just listening to someone here in the den, you know, talk about uh, the practice things that you have to do uh, with these numbers that, you know, in other words, we have a strong feeling that the, you know, uh, the main uh, number here is a uh, Fibonacci number. And if it's, uh, you know, down 55 days or down 34 days, that adds impetus to the possibility of a, of a bottom. But remember, it's always a possibility. We never know whether it's going to be 100% sure or not. That just doesn't happen in, in our book. There's just nothing that you can do about it. We live in a world of probabilities and learn to love them and embrace them, and you'll be far better off. And if you're using a pig and a poke and trying to just, uh, you know, pick up, pick up something without any really uh, possibility of looking at, uh, you know, the, the actual physical part of moving these contracts so that they, they are tradable within the law. And that's what's, uh, that's what's important. But right now, none of this stuff is mattering because, uh, you know, we are making new lows and we'll see if they're going to continue or not. Uh, we're only uh, when we look at soybeans, we're only eight cents now of breaking the low that we made back on uh, February the uh, 27th. And so this is going to be an interesting, uh, as they, the old Chinese curse is, may you live in interesting times. And these grains could be uh, causing some interest. Now, we did complete that Gartley pattern in the crude oil. 
uh, we got up to uh, 5380. The actual number was 5375, where you had an ABCD structure on the hourly charts, and that gives uh, four sheets to the, uh, you know, the, the barber. So anyway, that's what we're looking at on some of these things, but we'll look at it. Main thing is we're not seeing a uh, gap down today. This is just an orderly sell-off here uh, in the market, and uh, you know maybe it's going to turn. You know, and go higher, but you know we've had a lot of uh, folks leave us, uh, uh, you know, their trading packages, so that you're able to use, you know, the information and the technical stuff that they have. So if you have an interest in that, you know, come on over to Hong Kong, go to Victoria Peak, and take a look at it. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we've uh, sold off a little bit here in stocks this morning. Uh, S&P looks like it's down about 9, Dow's down about 80, I guess, and uh, we'll see how the rest of it goes uh, through the morning, but right now we have a little bit of weakness. Remember around 10.30 in the morning is when the Fed usually comes in to do their uh, Fed juice, uh, which we look at with Shane Smolian of WolfTrader.net. That's been a very positive thing, so if the market starts to rally after that 10.30 time period, you know, don't be a hero. This is a fact that we've had a pretty good two-day correction uh, in stocks. Might be a great buying opportunity. I'm not sure 
whether it will be or not, but right now it's something to watch around that 1030 time frame. We did take out yesterday's low in the S&P 500 by a penny, but you know, since that time, of course, it's not done anything other than rally a little bit. It's no, uh, no movement to the downside by looking uh, at these things. As we look at the foreign currency, we just made that objective in the British pound that we talked about at the top of last hour. Uh, we got down to the uh, the 1.2175 uh, area. We're right now trading at 2172, uh, so within about three cents, uh, three pips of uh, the actual price that we're watching here uh, in the uh, Treasury bond market. So there's just a lot of things happening, you know, all across the board. Not just the weakness in the gold and the soybean and the stocks. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we have a potential Gartley pattern in the crude oil that has already been hit. Then the market started to sell off. And we have a potential for a beautiful buy in the U.S. Uh, versus the euro. The euro would get down to that 105.50 uh, level, down about 16 pips from where it is right now. That would form a perfect ABCD structure uh, in the euro versus the dollar, and you wouldn't have to risk you know, any more than uh, 30 pips uh, for that. See, we've we've already rallied three points uh, in the E-mini S&P with nothing happening. Now, they have total control, the people that are out there, you know, managing these large things. So that's it. I'm done. Hello. Goodbye. Thank you. FNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures. And the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger luncheon social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today. And we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th.